What is good, everybody? It is your boy Michael O. I'm back with another quick track and field video. Today, we're going to be watching the 1984 4x400 meter relay. We watched the 4x1. Uh, I just did a reaction to that one. That was a great race. So now we're going to watch the 4x4, one of my favorite races. I think it's, it's low key one of everybody's favorite races. It's always at the end of the track meet, but boy. Me, I used to run the 400, and that was my shit. If my squad was good, if I was good, my squad's good, then it's good. But you know, if you're the anchor and your team sucks, then that sucks. But today we're gonna get into it. The four by four at the Olympics. Let's get this thing started. Let's go. By anyone during the Olympics directly, but OJ, I'm sure the two of them are discussing each and every move. All right, men's four by 400 meter relay is about to commence. There it is, as OJ mentioned, Matthews and Freeman and James and Evans set There's the world, world record, record 56 point from 1968. 16. So this is almost 20 years later. It used to be four by 440 yard relay and back in the early 60s. Four men who went to the same school, Arizona State, set the world record in that particular event Ooh, is this is how you know channel, you that this is old or basically that the world has changed this is before the Fosbury flop this is for before everyone was like you know I'm gonna jump onto my back <laughs> when I do the high jump and there's a, a couple more things that we really got to look at here one he said that when the record was set it was set by Arizona State uh, just a college team they just got out there a state just got out there and mashed around the track there was no pros none of that and also look the u.s is in lane eight in this one so basically you know they should and most likely if they win then they're not gonna see anybody really the whole race well they might if someone catches but you know you know how lane eight is the fastest teams are usually in the center so all that's very interesting here especially that little high jump of the guy just just trying to jump over who went to the same school arizona state set the world record in that particular event as the other man from china liu yun misses his first attempt at seven five second but he's going seven, over five, that like that at seven one five remaining for him and he got at bounced that yeah, Liu is one of the last of the straddlers. In fact, I believe he's the only straddler that we have in this entire competition. Oh, he's the last person still jumping. Now we'll turn our attention once again, and we'll keep going back and forth, obviously, as the high jump progresses simultaneously. But there are the men who will run the 4x4 four four for the U.S. Sunder Nixon, Ray Armstead, Alonzo Babers, and Antonio McKay, who was disappointed when he Drink won only water. the bronze medal in the 400 after it was billed as a great duel between McKay and Burt Cameron who couldn't even make it to the final because of a leg injury. There's our squad. And, uh, the United States changing a couple of people in the last couple of days on this juice as they have been uh, spreading out the workload, but they're going with their four best now in the final. They should be uh, well rested because they rotated everybody coming into this race. The other guys have only run uh, one real race, so they should have good legs, but I find it curious that the American men as well as our women ended up in this also, race. OJ, and out lane eight. OJ and in the four by one hundred relay, they both teams. ended up in lane five. And of course it is a blind. That draw. man really lost. Uh, his they don't speak you by your time. They, because you, you he pull was it out lit. of the hat and they end up out in lane eight, which is not obviously good for them. He's looking like the leadoff uh, leg. We'll see what he Nigeria does. Nigeria chasing him. That's Sunder Nix. And that should be the only competition. All right, Rima, he what's better gas. Thank you, Al Michaels. And I have Carl Lewis with me. He's just been carried off the field on top with his teammates celebrating this victory. Put it in perspective with, for us, Carl. How important was this world record? There hasn't been one broken at track and field. That was from the 4 by one In the meet with a world record, just like in Helsinki, it makes it real special but the Americans are always put under a lot of pressure as a relay team to do the job and for us to come together with all the adversity we have being the best friends in the world able to do it right here in front of our crowd can't be top four gold medals what are you gonna do with them all well I was looking for Ruth Owen today because I was I'm thinking about dedicating one to her because without the inspiration that Jesse Owens was able to give me I wouldn't be here put them on so, eBay uh, I'm and I'm gonna sell one to them and, and I want a meal for each and what's next one. for Carl Lewis Next, just to have a good time. I have enjoyed the Olympic Games. This has been a time of my life, and I want to thank millions and millions no, of people. No, I'm going to go I've coach. So much support. Next, and I'm going to coach. And people and everybody have always helped me. Okay, thank you, and congratulations Thanks, on making such incredible history. Back to the field. Now, back to you, Al Michaels.
Yes, it is, Donna, and I guess uh, the toughest burden any athlete Man, I can love face this is, is being expected to do something. I just something. love you how packed it is. I feel uh, like once in a while, and everybody says, "Gosh, maybe it's COVID or I don't you know." know I feel like do it, the Olympics the don't be looking like this. Like, yeah. That's pressure. Yeah, yeah, the Olympics I've watched, they, they, they all look packed. But there's just something about this one. He's done it. Everybody says he should have done it, and if he hadn't done it, they said he choked. Uh, but he did it in style, and uh, he certainly has a lot to be proud of. And I expect to see some right, more baby, from him in the future. Let's get into it, y'all. I'm sure we're going to get him in a meetup in altitude in Mexico City or Provo, Utah, one of these days. And, and I think every record that he could, you know, has been here, competes in, we'll see a new world record. You ready? We got Capo in the uniforms. We might talk about the fact that the, so many of the records are, are held at altitude. Juice, what makes the difference? Well, obviously, you're talking about thin air up there. It's less resistance. Um, in the longer distance, obviously, it's a little tougher. You have a problem getting oxygen in the lungs. But in the lower uh, distance, and, uh, because of the light. USA, air, we got Ray Armstead, uh, second lane. Good, good point. Calvin Smith holds the world mark, 993. And he did that at what we call at altitude. That was in Colorado Springs for the National Sports Festival last year. And, of course, the record for this event was in Mexico City at altitude. As I said, the first leg should be the uh, just about the only real competitive leg uh, for the uh, Americans because Sunday Nixon is going to run against Sunday Ute. You won't be able to see him because Ute is in lane seven. Uh, and don't forget, we have a three-curve stagger here, so it could be a little misleading uh, in this first uh, lap and a half. Set. Sunder next to start off in Armstead and Babers. All right, baby, we are. Uh, he just he stood right about the States blocks. Looking for a clean sweep, having already won both women's relays and having won the men's four Old by footage, one. can't really and see what's going on, but seven that could I give think the U.S. Win. some trouble in the white and green that is Sunday Uti running their first leg. Oh, and we're not and even. Uti will be running their fourth leg. And also Darren Clark of Australia looking good in oh, lane three. Oh, eight, low key. Surprisingly, the West Germans failed to advance yesterday. Well, you, you can't need that strong hundred. Away, Come on, Saunders. Certainly leading with another half a lap. Uh, there. We can uh, eight. Sunday Ute has done one heck of a job. Yeah, Sunday team. Ute is amazing. I would say amazing. about a six or seven meter lead, even though he appears to be behind. Let's go, uh, let's Sunday go. Nick. They we pass maybe second or third. Through the curve, so it's the Nigerian team. Let's go. Over that hey. I'm from my family's from Nigeria, so I'm gonna fuck with them. Uh, but I am in the U.S. and we are in third right now. With the Canadian team, that's Doug Hines running for them. Let's go, Ray. And let's go Art Nigeria. Uh, if he doesn't what we call snatch these guys come down, coming down the stretch here, I'm pretty sure that Armstead is going to give us a lead right. uh, when we go into our third man. Australia come on, Nigeria. come on. Nigeria and the U.S. Them, but the Australians are running real well. Australia, Nigerian. The Nigerian. And now for the United States. All right, we got a good pass. The baton is Alonzo Babers, who surprisingly won the 400, won the gold. He's looking for right. a second goal. We got the gold medal winner. Has that long, smooth drive. Let's go, Lonzo. He's really on the final curve, coming off the final curve, and uh, I think he's not too concerned right now. I think okay. I know for sure. It's still a tight race. I, I really man, don't know who wins this. The Americans should have the lead. Well, you I'm know how much Antonio McKay would love to have a gold medal draped around his neck after the disappointment. Okay, he took four. off. Lonzo and took off. If it, if it wasn't for him, we'd be in fourth right now. Oh, he really gassing at the end. We got it. We have like a five meter lead, maybe. Yeah, I don't think nobody's going to catch him. Come on. Ooh. Oh, he's gassing too. One of the finest quartermen in the world, Antonio McKay. Antonio really runs better with competition. He's like Lee Evans. He likes to see his competition. He looks like Normally real strong. Or is adding on to the lead. Let me say that. Oh, yeah. It's in the bag. It's in the bag. He's gassing, but they're going for second. Let's go, Nigeria. That's Great Britain. Boom. 257. That was not a good record. 
The multi winners, we had Carl Lewis winning US. his fourth. John Gertiesboro won two in one hour. Hey, I, I do not like. Hooks win three. I don't like one of these. And here for the United States now, Alonzo Babers two has two, winning the open four and winning the four by four. And McKay adds the gold to his silver in the open four as the United States wins the four by 400 meter oh, relay at the Coliseum. Let me go back. Hold on. By any. All right. That was a that was a pretty good race. All I know is the our last two legs really took off. Our first two legs they were not doing it, but the last two legs secured the bag for us. Shout out to Alonzo and uh, that other dude. That was pretty entertaining, but. USB winning the 4x4, it, it's honestly amazing, somewhat like, that's one thing that is pretty much in the bag, that the USA is going to win the 4x4 for the men and most likely for the women, and hey, it happened here in 1984, it, it, it happened all the time, um, but that was a solid race, I wish they would have broke a world record or something, but they didn't, and they took off. But that's it for today's video. I will be back. We'll be doing some more. We're going to watch some more races. I just found a couple. And yeah, we're going to watch them. We're going to see what's going on. Uh, we're going to be watching Otto Bolden run. We're going to watch Michael Johnson run. And many, many more. Just some classics. Some people that we forgot about. You know, we kind of went into the, the era of Usain Bolt. And now we're getting into Noah Lyle, Lyles, Christian Coleman. But we need to take a step back and we need to look at some real classic track and field from the 80s. Uh, I, I found some of Jesse Owens. I think that's the 30s. So we'll really take it back and just, just get into some classics. But this has been another Michael O track and field reaction. Thank you to anyone who sees this video. Please, if you liked it, like, subscribe. Just tap into me with, on Instagram, um, you know, TikTok, Twitter, all that. Just tap in. I go by Limitless Mike. You can follow me at Limitless Mike underscore and at the Limitless Company. I'll have all my information in the description box. So, yeah, whoever sees this, have a blessed day. Go, go for a run. Go work out. Go get ready for practice. Peace.